All right, if you're here, uh, good on you. We are increasing the complexity just a little bit more from the last one. So everyone builds on the last one and you could get an exam problem like this. So we'll go through it. Uh, find the change in entropy, standard entropy change, when 5.0 grams of C3H8, this is propane, uh, reacts with excess oxygen. And we have a chemical equation here that looks balanced. Three Cs, 10, four plus six, 10 oxygens, and there's H hydro eight hydrogens, eight hydrogens. Okay, so we're balanced. So to do that, we're going to do just like what we did last time to start off. We'll calculate the molar change in entropy of the reaction by doing products minus reactants. So we'll start off with the products, three times whatever the entropy uh, change of CO2 is. So CO2 gas, that's 213.74. So 232, oh, two, not 231, 213.74 joules per mole Kelvin plus the entropy molar entropy of water. And this is liquid, so that's very important to look that up. Make sure it's in the liquid. H2O, H2O. Uh, liquid here, 69.91. So 69.91 joules per mole Kelvin. Minus, now big bracket when we subtract the reactants, so we don't forget distributing this negative sign in. We'll look at propane, C3H8, C3H8. There it is in all its glory, 269.9. So, um, so the coefficient is one, 269 point, is it nine? Did I say nine? I said nine. Nine joules per mole Kelvin plus stoichiometric coefficient of oxygen. And then I think oxygen is 235. Is that right? O2 gas, nope, 213, no, that's CO2. Oh, go back one. Okay, 205, 205.138. So 205.138 joules per mole Kelvin. Uh, close the big brackets. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, punch this in in one fell swoop. So three times 213.74 plus four times 69.91 minus big bracket. One, I won't include the one, 269.9 plus five times 205.138. Brackets closed, everything's good, looks good. Okay, so it's negative, and we're going from kind of six moles of gas, for every six moles of gas that react, we only get three moles of gas, and here we have a condensed liquid, so we have a decrease in entropy. If you're not sure why that's decreased, I do have a video on that. Um, We'll continue going on. So negative 374.73. So negative 374.73 joules per mole Kelvin. And okay, now this isn't our answer. This is per mole of the reaction, just like in the last question. And for every one mole of the reaction that occurs, one mole of propane reacts, five moles of oxygen react, and we get three moles of CO2 and four, uh, four moles of water. So for every one mole of reaction, we use up one mole of C3H8. So we can write this number here, negative 374.73. If this makes it easier, per now we'll, we'll put the Kelvin over here, uh, but this is per mole, per one mole of C3H8. Now we don't care about moles of C3H8, we care about the change in entropy for five grams. And we can't cancel out grams right away. We gotta get to grams first. We don't care about joules per mole, we care about joules per gram. So we gotta cancel our grams that are moles out. So we'll put moles up here for a conversion factor, we'll put grams down here. And every for every one mole, C3H8 is uh, let's let's calculate that. So there's Based on the periodic table, the molar mass of carbon is 12.011. Molar mass of hydrogen, there's eight of them, is 1.008794, but eight's good. 44.097, 44.097. So one mole weighs 44.097 grams. Our moles cancel out. Now, these units would be in joules per Kelvin per gram, right? Joules per gram. We don't want it per gram. 
we want it per five grams for every five grams. So we've got to multiply this whole thing by 5.0 grams to find out what the straight up entropy change is. If we do that, grams cancel out and we are left with just joules per Kelvin, which is what we want for entropy. Okay, so uh, I'll delete that. I'm not sure how to use that previous answer in my calculator, so I'll just type it out again. 374, negative 374.73 divided by 44.097 times 5 is negative 42.489. So negative 42.489 joules per, not per mole Kelvin. It's like instincts, <laughs> joules per Kelvin. And our significant figures, oh, we only have precision to one decimal place because of this. So we have one decimal place of, of precision. This is one decimal place. This is like a lot, three decimal places. So one decimal place, so that's all we have. So our final answer is negative 42.5 joules per Kelvin. Right arm, everyone, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching. I hope you got some value from this video. I've got tons and tons of other videos on thermodynamics and many other aspects of chemistry, also in physics and math and calculus and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you got some benefit from it, then that's good. And good luck on your midterms and final exams. See you in the next video. Cheers.